Good evening. Welcome to WSBI, your resource for success podcast program, where you get to meet inspiring women-owned businesses from across the country. My name is Kimberly McLemore, and I am your host. With us, we have Lakeisha England, Mary Kay Consultant. Welcome, Lakeisha. How are you? I'm great, and you? I'm doing good. All right, so you're nervous. You don't have to be. <laughs> we, we look. We've gone through a lot this evening together to get this thing rolling. So, just relax, enjoy, sit back. We're just gonna talk about your story, and we'll tell you know the best way now for you to get started is just to tell the listeners a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, my name is Lakeisha England. I'm from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. And um, I'm I'm learning to work my Mary Kay business while being a full-time mom, a full-time employee for the school district, and finishing up my master's degree. So I'm really, really excited about my Mary Kay business. Oh, wow. And you are very, very busy <laughs> on top of that. So yes, definitely. You, you've got a lot going on, so that's awesome to hear. But tell me a little bit more about exactly where you're from. Now, are you still in the Texas area, originally from the Texas area? Born, raised. Yeah, yes, I'm a. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. So it's actually wonderful to hear. You know, a lot of the women who are doing their businesses that have grown up in the community and now are giving back to the community by you know being a part of the community with their business and uh, other things that you were doing. So, tell me though, what actually inspired you to start doing Mary Kay? Okay, I was totally blown away by my Mary Kay sisters. When I got into Mary Kay, I was inspired to learn about the business, to be able to have control over my own income, learn about entrepreneurship, and most importantly to me, to be able to teach business to my children. Okay, so yeah, that's really great that you want to learn a legacy, but tell me a little bit how... What really brought you, you know, as far as Mary how they truly inspire us? Now, I definitely have talked to other women who are in uh, into uh, Mary Kay and their actual consultants, but each one of them have kind of shared a different type of understanding or story that really, truly, you know, and brought them on, on board besides, I guess, the, the, the usual part of it. So what really gravitated you to think, you know, you know, this is really something that I have learned and what type of programs do they provide or offer to you to make you feel that, you know, that's something you can um, inspire others to do as well as continue, like I said, to inspire yourself. Okay. Well, a little bit about it has to do with my background. My mom and several of the ladies I grew up with in church uh, sold Mary Kay. And that kind of inspired me just the way that the ladies carried themselves. The, you know, they were always, what we like to say, dressed sharp and, you know, they kept themselves up. And I like that. I, I think it's very ladylike. So that was one thing that been a mother of three that I wanted to pass on to my daughters. Mm-hmm. Um, some mm-hmm. of the things that Mary Kay offers to make me think that they're such a great business to work is that they have the, everybody sees the Mary Kay cars, of course. They see the, um, they see that, but they don't understand. They also pay like 80% of their insurance. So it's just like so many benefits. And then also just being able to give back to other women to make them feel beautiful. You know, those, those are the type of things that inspired me to want to work Mary Kay because it's very fulfilling. Uh, my master's degree is in social work. So I like 
you know, helping people. And through Mary Kay, I'm able to help my pe- help people and also help myself. Exactly. Yeah. That Mary Kay definitely has a lot and they have evolved throughout the years. I can remember many, 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 many years ago, I was a consultant for Mary Kay and actually used their products many years ago. And that was during a time where they were still learning to provide more colors for women of color. And, you know, it was definitely something new. And uh, they even had a different name at that time. They weren't even just called uh, Mary Kay Consultants. So it, everything has definitely evolved throughout the years. And I've heard that a lot of their programs have are really focused on encouragement. And, you know, as you said, le- you know, allowing women to look at their beauty, you know, obviously, obviously from within on the way to the outside and in sharing those legacies with other women. And I like the way you talked about how you're utilizing your master's degree um, as a part of the pieces that you're also learning with Mary Kay. So I think that is a a beautiful opportunity for you to spread your wings and then spread, you know, your business across the community there uh, with, like I said, with encouragement. So talk to me a little bit though about, um, so actually how long have you actually been in the business itself in Mary Kay? I've been in the business for about a year, Mm -hmm. about a year. Okay. okay. Go ahead. And I, I mean, I learned so much about the business that made me like at first I was a little kind of, you know, like drawn back on it. But what made me really open up to it more mm-hmm. is that Mary Kay, they, they do so much for people that people don't realize that they do. Like they donate to the domestic violence shelters across the country. Mm-hmm. They help uh, do the things for fighting cancer that affect many women. They also have a over in Dallas, you can see where they have like a big corporation, a recycling program mm-hmm. where they do, they do, they do recycling. So it's just so many, many things that they do back that's globally to affect the community. Right. Yeah. Like I said, Mary Kay has definitely like I said, involved throughout the years and it's just phenomenal to hear the stories that I've heard and, you know, all the things that they're providing for, you know, like I said, not just for the women who are actual consultants, but for all women who are, you know, who are not even a part of the process, but like I said, they're, they're giving and the things that they give are definitely things that women are in need of. So talk to me, though, a little bit about the challenges, because you have only been in the business uh, for a short period of time. So tell me what have been some of the challenges you have doing this business? OK, I heard you say uh, in the past that Mary Kay had some issues as far as um kind of breaking in the breaking the barriers about race and having the mm-hmm. products for everybody. And that was my biggest challenge of actually was that was breaking down those myths that people think that Mary Kay is only for older women or it's only for white women or something for black women. And that's not true. I mean, Mary Kay has products that targets, I mean, everybody it's, it's not just used in the U S it's actually used across the country mm-hmm. in, in Africa and everywhere else. So it is, it's global. It's, it's so that was one of my biggest challenges was, uh, me being a younger woman, when I go out sometimes and I meet people and I talk to them about Mary Kay, that's my age. They're like, oh, my mom or my grandmother used Mary Kay. Right. Mm-hmm. right. <laughs> so just breaking down saying, you know what? We have a skincare line from teenagers all the way up. It doesn't have to be like you have to be over 50 to enjoy our products, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's one of my biggest challenges was just kind of just breaking down the myths. And then some of the myths about the cars, they were hysterical. They had me laughing. But just telling people, you know, you know, this stuff isn't true. Let me teach you about the business. Let me share with you what I learned. So uh, after I kind of share with them, people are like, oh, oh, and they're more supportive and things like that. So that was one of the biggest challenges so far. It's just kind of breaking the ice on some things and shedding some light on what's true and what may not be true. Yeah. And, and I can agree. You know, I, I definitely, you know, I think most people when they hear, like I said, hear a C-Mary the biggest thing I always hear about everybody talk about is, Oh, it's the pink Cadillac, you know, <laughs> right? The, exactly. you know, the pink Cadillac is all everybody ever remembers. And I'm like, well, I think that there are a whole lot more than just the pink Cadillac, you know, because otherwise everybody would, would be driving around, you know, in one of them. But, right. um, you know, <laughs> but that's usually like you said, either that or that, oh, you must be old, you know, and you're wearing Mary Kay. But yeah, like I said, definitely they have absolutely evolved. And like I said, I've heard some really fantastic stories about um, their products and their services. And, and like you said, they're global. And so they're way beyond you know what i think even she could have imagined that she would be you know at this point with her with her uh business the owner itself so talk to me about some of the things that you feel that you're doing though beyond what you've already talked about um i guess talk about a moment of how you feel you're really inspiring other women and how you're helping them um 
looking to within themselves to, and, and utilizing your products and, you know, the degree that you're trying to work with, uh, that you're working on, I guess, talk a little bit how that really comes together for you. Okay. Well, how that, how that comes together for me is I work a little bit myself. I work at a high school and also like I have, I, I have three daughters of my own. So it really, it really just comes into play helping me with, you know, with social work. My line of social work is dealing with mental, uh, mental health and substance abuse, but still social work is such a broad, you know, it's a broad degree. So I deal with all types of people from all different backgrounds of life. And one of the things I come across is that a lot of times young ladies have tend to have, um, low self-esteem they pile on makeup all of this makeup and all this hair and they're, they're not feeling beautiful on the inside now i wear my makeup but i'm bigger on the skin care side like take care of your skin take care of your body so that's kind of like where i'm at with that i teach girls or our step team at our school different girls around around the community about the importance of skincare, then also about the importance of loving themselves. So that's what kind of, it kind of ties together for me because mm-hmm. uh honestly even if i'm not selling the products I can use the products for facial parties to empower women like I have an upcoming event that I'm going to do and it's going to be mothers and daughters and I'm going to talk to daughters into inviting their mothers out to come and do something with them and we're going to do skincare classes mm-hmm. you know things like that I'm bringing because there's so many parents that daughters that can't talk to their mom and to me those things are important and with me having three girls, that's the beauty of it is that I get to, t- I take them with me when I do parties or I host the parties at home and they help do it. Mm-hmm. And they're seeing the, bus- the business side. They're learning how to use the, uh, the square app and things like that to take payments and just learning how to keep up with receipts and business. And I even tell them about the tax, you know, my taxes and things like that. Mm-hmm. So just being able to teach them about, um, entrepreneurship. And having your own business and try to run it. And then also, like I said, most importantly, just loving yourself and feeling, um, you know, self-worth. Exactly. Yeah. And there's a couple of things that I, I noticed that um, that you, a few things that you had hit on that really uh, ring with me was the fact that I like that you're talking about how you're teaching the entrepreneurship side, entrepreneurship side. But then at the same token, what you're doing is that you're balancing your education and taking that education and intertwining it with the business. And I think that's important because a lot of times people understand that, you know, school's great. I think it's wonderful. We all have our degrees and so forth, but it's always great to know that you can utilize your degree in a different aspect. And that's going into business. Cause a lot of times we don't talk to our kids about, Oh, you know, go to school and then start your own business. It's usually go to school and then go work for somebody else. Uh, exactly. you know, so it's always great to see that, you uh, that we have our, our, our moms, you know, taking their daughters or their sons and the fathers or, you know, as a family period and understanding how that legacy works and how you can utilize the tools that you're getting in a different manner. It's not always just about um, working for somebody else, you know, because you're going to be a part of their dream. Why not make, you know, why not make your own dream and allow other people to come ride that with you? So I think that's a really good uh, piece. And then the other thing that I wanted to point out that I like that you're talking about is how, a lot of these young people today, and just some women, period, don't really understand about makeup is about enhancing who you are. It's not about changing who you are. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, you'll see those you know, people who may wear way too much makeup because they're hiding something. So when you're educating them on the purpose of it, and like you said, loving yourself from the inside out versus from the outside in, thinking that's how you're going to get noticed, or how that, that's what makes you feel better. Yeah, it may make you feel better for a second. But it doesn't take away the pain of whatever it is that you're involving yourself with. So, you know, education is really the key. And you're actually utilizing all those pieces together, which, you know, helps you, helps your daughters, and it helps many other individuals, like I said, have that conversation that they may not normally have in their home. So it's really awesome uh, what you're doing. So I have a couple other questions for you. Uh, talk to me about what advice would you give to any other young lady who decides that they want to get into business? What would you share with them? Oh, my advice would be for them to, to come into the business, learn about the business and definitely take advantage of all. They have like a Mary Kay university. It's online. It's at mm-hmm. your fingertips. I would say jump in and get that training as far as how to do the skincare class and become confident in skincare. That way, when you go out to talk to other people, you're confident about telling them about the routines that they could use to cleanse their face and the importance of um, taking care of your skin before, you know, applying makeup and removing it and taking care of your skin afterwards. Mm -hmm. I would just say that 
getting into the business and becoming educated in it. That way you can be successful and and make some make some money while you're doing it, not just you know not just end up quitting. Right, exactly. Because a lot of people will come into something and then when they realize it's it maybe a little harder or they didn't really understand what they were getting into, like you said, because they didn't educate themselves you know, around it before they actually jumped into it, you know, a lot of people will, they'll, they'll come in, they maybe last 90 days and then they're done. So it's always right. important to learn the background of what it means to truly be in business. Cause it's one thing to have an expertise in something, but it's, it's much bigger than just having that expertise in that one item. It, business is a, is a, a huge responsibility. And, you know, once people start to realize what that responsibility is, it's not all fun and games. <laughs> so. I would, oh, yeah, it's definitely a, a, a thing that has to have, you have to have time management and balance. You know, that's mm-hmm. one thing that I guess college kind of taught me was time management and balance. Like I, I will tell people in a heartbeat, you know what? No, I can't do that. I'm going to I'm going to give it to someone else to handle that. You know, I don't have mm-hmm. a problem, you know, delegating work to other people or doing what I need to do to make sure that I'm not wasting my time. So I think long as you, time management with any business is an important step. So I would say as long as you're going to put time into it, because you're only going to get what you put into it. Right, exactly. Well, in time management, you need that just for your everyday life period. So, exactly. You know, and then when you're starting to add in all these extra items, you know, <laughs> like all the responsibilities, but, it makes you yeah. go a little crazy. So at least you, you know, recognize that up front, because a lot of people won't even admit that, you know, when they're um, in business, they feel like they have to be the one all be all to do everything in order to be successful, but not understanding that it's always good to know some of your strengths and then some of the things that you're not so good at that it's good to pass that on and ensure that you do have the right person in place in order to make that happen. Right. So it's, that's definitely a good a good trait to have. So um, tell the listeners how they can get a hold of you. Okay. Well, if you want to get a hold of me, you can email me at LakeishaMK at gmail.com. That's L-A-K-I-S-H-A-M-K at gmail.com. All right. Great. And I really want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk with you tonight. Could you do you have any last words for the listeners? Uh, no, I don't have any last words for them. I would just say definitely, um, you know, if, if they're interested in knowing about Mary Kay to get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to talk to them about it or share any information that I have. All right. Great. All right. And like I said, I do appreciate the time. You know, we actually, we struggled trying to get this thing going, rocking and rolling tonight, but we finally got it done. So I'm excited that we had this opportunity. And for everybody else, I would like to thank you all for coming on. This program is on every Thursday evening at 7 p.m. You can follow us on Spreaker, which is at www.spreaker.com slash user slash WSBI. You can also find me at the WSBI. We have a new website. Please take a look at it. We're at www.wsbillc.com. Also, you can visit us at Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. But until the next time, you all have a great evening. Take care.